hello in this uh, video I will show you how the smart hospital work so this is um, the interface you will see when you log in so if this one shows the old OPD income IPD income pharmacy income pathology income radiology income operation theater blood bank income ambulance income general income and expenses so this is uh, what you will see when you log in so um, and then on the menu here you will see another thing you will see how many accountants doctor pharmacists pathologists radiologists super admin are, are on the side so i'm using a super admin password so that you can see everything and how it works now this is the front desk so what a front desk person can do so uh, this is all the appointments they have in the hospital so when immediately you click here you will see all that for all these pathologists will have an appointment in this hospital so you can from this uh, menu a receptionist can book appointment for a patient for example for a specialist uh, and, and stuff like that so this is from where they book the appointment Say, and then this is um, the visitors book so like a visitor or, or some hospital before you enter the hospital you sign a visitors book so instead of using book you can easily do it on the system by the receptionist or the person at the gate now this is calls like somebody call at the hospital or something so you can make a record of uh, the, the the calls so this is the call add a call somebody call at the hospital name phone number the person call with then the next time you're going to call the person back and stuff like that so you have call log here you have post all the post they sent the hospital and then patient complain so maybe the md want to know what people are complaining about the hospital so you can easily Put a complaint here what the uh, patient complain so they can make a, rec a record for you here so that you'll be able to see what complain how to improve your hospital what the your staffs are not doing well and stuff like that so from here you can do analysis of all what the patients are complaining people that come to the hospital what are complaining so that is um, pretty much about the front desk so now let's go to the opd department now I pick an OPD department. Let's say somebody come to the hospital. So these are a list of all the patients that are at the hospital. So this was all the patients that are in your hospital. This all these people are at the hospital. They have registered at the hospital. So to register a new patient, let's say somebody come to the clinic today and want to see a doctor, you click on this add patient. Then you here you click on new patient. So this one is going to be done by the receptionist. So you register the name, the gender, date of birth, age, phone number, email address, any remark. Then the guardian, blood group, marital status, patient's phone, my photo. If you want to ask photo address, and this one any allergy the patient used to have, you know. So you click on save. So that's how to register a new patient then so when you register a new patient the new patient comes here now now what you need to do you can now send the patient to the person that will take a vital let's see if it's um, the doctor or the nurse you can now send the message there's a messaging system here you here message so here you put you write whatever you want to write here you you choose date notice here you click date you want to publish the edition then here you said okay you want it to go to the accountant admin pharmacy reception you so who you want to send the message to then you click on send then the person will receive it see here how 195 notification when we visit notification here so you can now send the patient to go and take vitals. So when the patient comes to the doctor or 
or the mouse or whoever takes the vitals what the person need to do is here you search for the person's name or card number or whatever you want to use then when the person's name comes up you click on the name to open the person's page now this is the person's page this is here you click on visit or visit This is the person's weight here. You record it, the pulse, the temperature, the respiratory. Then here you put the date the person comes to the hospital. The same on the 4th of February. Then here you put the amount the person will pay. Then you click on save. So that's all about your own. Now you can now send the patient to the doctor or if it's a doctor that um, take the vitals you can click here now start consulting you can choose the symptom the patient is having so if it's headache so you can fill in the same you can type yourself you can choose Okay, the type of symptom the person is having. Then, here, if it's age, just any note you want to write, let's say consultation, examination, and whatever you want to write, you write on your doctor's note. And when you finish, you save. That's it, but I'm not feeling this bit. Now, to send the patient to. Let's say you want to send the patient to um, a test. You click on pathology test here. Then here you add, sorry, then all the test is added here. So what you need to do, you want to send the patient for scanning or whatever you want to send the patient to. Here you click on this add button here. So here you select the patient name, the patient name will enter here then here you want you tell the day you want the test result to come to you if there's anything you want to write you write here then you click on save so immediately you click on save the test will automatically go to the lab scientist now if someone love that love the entities I want to report for the test. So what you need to do when you come to this pathology test, you click on this test result. So you will see all the people here. So these are all the people that they sent for test dates they are supposed to report the patient name, the test they're supposed to do. Then this is the reference description of the test. This is the charges the people will pay in case. Uh, the the this thing collects charges and all that. So when he finishes his own test, the matter of he clicks here to enter the value and the parameter. Yeah. So the parameter for the test you see it here. Let's say put blood count. It put the value and every other thing. Right. When you finish, you just save. And when he save, it will go back to the doctor. So that's how to report. If it is pathology test, it's pretty much the same thing. Here, you choose the test. You want the for scanning or whatever chest x-ray abdominal x-ray can easily do the test here the parameter or it can just upload the test see here you can upload picture or whatever you want to upload for the doctor to see so that is pretty much how to do the test then here you have uh, theater and there's any op any operation done in the theater you add the patient the type of uh, operation is the person is going to do and stuff like that so matter of add patient here and all that this is for click the name of the patient so you put the operation the person is going to consulting doctor and all that and all that 
So here you register everything, including the charge amount the person is going to pay. The same thing with blood bank. Here you have live consultation. For example, if this is hosted online, you can use Zoom to or Google Live Meeting to consult to make a consultation with person is at home with on with video test or stuff like that. Now this is for the finance. You can record income. This is a, so you can add daily income. You can add expenses. Okay, this is also for ambulance. Here you can record all the ambulance calls, ambulance that leave the hospital come and stuff like that. This is for beds and death record. All the beds at the hospital, all the people that deliver in the hospital, you, re you register them here so that anytime you can go there and check here is for death record all the people that died at the hospital you register them here now this is for human resource where you manage all your stuff so for this now well, you see pictures so i can't put nigerian picture here for security reasons so somebody will not take you to court sorry for that but so these are pictures of all your staffs it's at them here these are pictures of all your staffs. So to register a new staff, you click here, add staff. Register your staff ID, the role, designation, department, specialist, staff first name, staff last name, father's name, mother's name, you know, gender, marital status, blood group, date of birth, date of joining the hospital, staff phone number, email, if he has, staff photo, this is where you add a photo current address, permanent address, qualification, work experience, specialization, and any other notes. So here you can add more details, like CPF number, basic salary, contract are permanent or probation. You have um, work shift, location where the staff has to work, the type of leave the staff supposed to get, medical leave, casual leave, maternity leave. Now this is the bank account of the staff. So this is title, the title, this is the bank, no, bank name, code, this is branch, this is uh, Facebook and all that. You can add them here. Then here you can upload the staff resume. So this is where you record, you register your staffs. So when you finish, you just save. Now let's look at um, staff already registered. So here, this is attendance. You know, daily attendance of the staff. Here, like every day they come, they have to take attendance. So you make you know who come to the hospital, who didn't come to the hospital. So let's say I want to see all the admin that attend. That come to the hospital today. I click admin. So you remember we have only one admin. So here, I think is he late today? I choose is he present. I choose present. Present already choose. Or is he absent today? He didn't come to the hospital today. Or he only came half day. Or he came late. So if there's any note, I write it here. I save. So I can take attendance of people that come to the hospital today. Every day people take attendance in the hospital. Like clock in and clock out so you know who come to the who comes to work today and who didn't come to work today so this is all about the staff attendance now let's look at the payroll how do you how do you make monthly payroll so this is january i want to make a payroll for all the accountants so here is the is the accountant for the month of January 2000 and then I click I choose accountant so when I click it will bring me all the accountants now for a payroll I can just generate payroll for them if I click on generate payroll for this person it give me the, the staff details 
Is there any uh, deduction? Let's say the staff collected salary advance. So the amount he collected salary advance is, uh, let's say, 3,000. Did he collect any? Let's say he collected another. Um, okay. He bought an item he did not pay. So we collect it from his salary. Say the thing is, uh, let's say, 1,000 naira. So, any other deduction that you want to deduct as a salary, right? So, this is already you have known his basic salary is 25,000 naira. So, after I put all the, if there's any earning, something you used to add for them, let's say somebody did well, you add a bonus or stuff like that, you can write it here and write the amount. So, when I finish writing my deduction, I, I see calculate salary. So, the deduction is C3,000 plus 1,000 is 4,000. So, now his gross salary is 21,000. So, that's what I'm going to pay him. So I save his salary. I'm trying to compose his salary, their salary for any other. I can now also do for the doctors the same way. So give me this. I have one, two, three. I have three doctors. So I can see all of them have is listed here. So the same way I generate their payroll for the month of uh, January. So let, let me look at the account that I just made here. Let's say, okay, now after making their payroll, I want to pay them. Click there. Now you see the payroll is regenerated. That here I say proceed to pay. Now I want to pay the accountant. Here automatically you have seen that his money is 21,000 is what I'm going to pay him for the month of January. This is the date I'm paying. Now here is I'm paying by cash. This is the annual download. I click here, then I, I click on save here. Ask me, are you sure? I said yes. So here the status now is that I should have paid him. Now here now instead of paying, I told view pay slip. So I can print pay slip if I want to print and give them. So that is how to do. I can generate all the salary for them. I pay all of them as they come to collect their salary, if it's at the bank or whatever. I'll pay them now. So at the end of the at the end of the day, I can check. I'll show you how to check report of all the people you have paid. From which month to which month, how much you have paid for salary and stuff like that. But let me let's go ahead and then look at other one before we go. See report here. Before we go to a report, everything that is happening in this hospital have where you check your report. So here you have the messaging system. I showed you about the messaging system before. So here you send the message to staff and everything like that. So here is for the inventory. Let's say things that are not medical. This is where you add the inventory. So like your the things you issue out, let's say stuff like um um cutting wool, those things that they don't buy cutting wool that is at the store, you issue them out. So this is where you put the inventory. This is where you issue like here you have add stock, issue stock out, issue something out to somebody, the person issue it out. This is where you do the inventory of your things. You come in and go, come in and go, how many come in, who you gave it to, and stuff like that. So when you run your, your record, you'll be able to see. Like here now, you have uh, pharmacy equipment, who you gave it to. Then you have dressing, cutting wool, you have syringe. So here the quantity you have, dates that the store, this is the store. So who, the quantity you have, a price you buy all of them, you know. You can add a stock here. This is from where you add a stock. This is from where you issue it out. Mm -hmm. So, who you to the admin, the name of the person you issued it out. So, this person, date it was issued out. If the person returned the item you issued out to him, you said you had to return it or it's still with him. Let's say he had collected uh, scissors. You gave it you gave him the scissors say you that if you had returned it you say you had returned it any other note right you're here you collect the, you put the item the person collected strange then how many the person collected you save it so at the glass you will know ah uh, the scissors the last person that collected scissors was so and so person and he returned it or he did not return it so when the thing we're looking for the person you know who to ask 
so that's you all about the inventory and stuff like that but it's not only what you return anyway and other things so you see here you see collected item here this place have returned it this place which is not have not returned it this uh, color here means they have not returned what they collected at the end of the day now let's look at this is for if you want to use this thing for a front desk you want to use it for a website there's a website version of this if you want you can enable it it is hosted online so you will have an application and also a website so here you have all the report of everything that is happening in this place here you have transaction report appointment report opt report ipd report um balance ipd balance sheet discharge report patient pharmacy billing report you know let's let's look at transaction report briefly so for this month all of them opd ipd pharmacy bill pathology test and everything it's all of them want to get a report of all of them for the for this month i click on search so this is it got a reference this head is this 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 is the amount that was gotten so you can choose for this month last month next month let's look at uh, human resource all the money you have paid okay let's say payroll this is payroll now this month alone this month we have paid this person they, it's through his accountant it's an accountant for january this is the date he was paid this is his pay slip salary advance earning is zero deducted one month gross salary tax net salary give you the total let's say for the next how much have we paid salary for 12 months you see 12 months we search so this is all the people we have paid salary this is how much we pay them so you see the total this is how much they're supposed to collect all the earning is this all the deduction this their gross salary is this this is how much you have paid for this this is tax this is how much you have paid for the last 12 months of salary so you have a report for all this let's say we, this one let's say you want to know how all the money you have paid for admin for the month of january you click admin so you have not paid anything for the month of january to any admin let's say accountant see how this is the one we just did now we have paid one person and this is the how much we have paid so you have a report of everything you can even choose from which date you want date you want to check how much you have paid so another thing inventory and all that so you have a report of everything in the hospital including pharmacy see you can generate bills for pharmacy medicine and stuff like that so for a, for uh, a patient let's say you want to make bill for a patient i click this person was at the hospital today i click here so here i can add the person's charges so i add charges all the charges in the hospital i add procedure dates i choose dates here i click on uh, what i want to charge him for here i select so that the, the man, amount already added 500 naira is what we are going to charge him So you can also add more charges. I can add that. It's not only 500. Let's say we also under investigation. We click this one too. So we put the amount. This one is 500 too. So you put all the money you are going to charge the person. All the more we are going to pay this person the person is owing us 1500 so here the person want to pay here i click i'll click payment and before he paid 1000 naira before so here i click his payment it's owing us 1500 it's paying by cash so we put it there this is you can also make bill here you see he's owing 1000 this one he all his bill was 1600 he has paid 1500 before remember 
then it's only 1,500 if you take bill so we can calculate bill then we gain our rent are you sure we say yes so that is the bill you add your payment and stuff like that so if you want to check how many people are the bed you can check bed state to know the bed that are empty this one if it's somebody that is on this bed and you know the bed that are empty you know the bed that are not empty you see this bed now all this one means people are on it even the name of the people on it the patient on it already this green one shows that nobody is on the bed so if you want to allocate this is on general ward female ward private ward vip ward and all that so you can take the status of bed the bed that are empty the bed that people are on so that's pretty much how the application works thank you